Feels like our driver has just dropped us off in the middle of nowhere in Ukraine. Good morning guys from our balcony here in Rivna. It is not the most sunniest of days. It's a little rainy. Last night, if you guys haven't checked the last vlog, we took an overnight sleeper train, first class, $25, so cheap, to, to Rivna here from Kiev. Uh, we arrived really early, roughly about like 3.40 a.m. in the morning and checked into our Airbnb here. And uh, we've just pretty much been sleeping here all day. And uh, I think it's now time to get up, go get some food. But first guys, let me show you the Airbnb that we booked for the day. We have a balcony, which is amazing. So this is the living room area. We have a really large, like 55 inch TV actually, really cool. Got a nice living area with a sofa here. Got this uh, bar table, some bar stools. It's a nice work area actually to get some editing done. We have a Wi-Fi. I haven't tested the Wi-Fi speeds. I'll check on that later. And then this is our kitchen. We have a microwave, got our cups and stuff in here got some plates and bowls in there queen size bed this wardrobe here vacuum ironing board and stuff everything you really need <laughs> we got a bathtub here very soviet but it's actually really new really clean shower head this is the most craziest thing ever so we had to call our airbnb host because there was no hot water in the apartment apparently this is the 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 boiler for the hot water he had to literally manually light it with a lighter and when you turn on the water, it the flame just explodes. It's crazy. I don't know how this is not dangerous for an apartment to explode, literally. Let me just show you. Whenever you turn on the hot water, look at that thing go. Holy crap. It's honestly kind of scary, to be honest, especially leaving the apartment with that flame going. Um, so let's hope the apartment doesn't burn down while we're going. And then we do have a washing machine here, sink, and a clean toilet. By the way, if you've never been to Ukraine, these are like the old Soviet apartment buildings and let's just say they'll give you a bit of culture shock if uh, you've never been in one. So, make sure you lock the door. This is just outside of our apartment building, a little playground. What are your first impressions of reading them? They don't speak English at all. <laughs> yeah. Very scary. I honestly can't imagine being here if I did not speak any Russian or Ukrainian. Uh, the language barrier would be pretty immense, but luckily I understand <laughs> and she's got me with her. One thing I did forget to mention last night in yesterday's vlog though is that there's no Ubers, which is exactly why we had to get a taxi and negotiate a taxi price, which we paid 50 grimness for, uh, which is like less than two US dollars actually. But there is actually a taxi app. Uh, there's a, a taxi app. I'm not sure the name of it. I'll have to look it up and find it. Looks like we've arrived to the Rivna Mall. They even got a huge mall here. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> so here we got Misto Club, which is sushi and pizza. This looks like a cool little seating area. Looks nice. Got a nice view outside this restaurant. It's all in Russian or Ukrainian. I don't know how to. S I don't know how to write. I don't know how to read. I don't know how to speak. I just handed Kintanya a menu, and this is what the menu looks like. Come on, look at my face. I'm Indonesian. How can you don't have like English menu? A mostna rekomendacja. Szukusny. Szukusny. Nasz szukusny. Szukusny. Okay hey guys, well we just had our lunch, we got lasagna and pasta. It wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't the worst either. So, it was only uh, 247 grivnas. It's like nine US dollars overall. So, now we're gonna try to, uh, oh yeah. We figured out how to get to uh, Cleveland, which is where the Tunnel of Love is. We'll show you that in just a moment. So, we have found a different ride sharing service here, similar to Uber. It is called Uklan, I believe is the name of it actually. And the amazing thing about Uklan is that you can set your own price, and then if the, if the driver accepts, then that's the price you're gonna pay, which is really cool. Look at all the buses here in Rivna. It is a traffic jam here. 
While we're waiting for our taxi, check out this beautiful building. So far just from exploring Rivna for the first like two hours, uh, lots of foods, lots of buses in here in the center of Rivna. Uh, and definitely, definitely looks very old Soviet buildings with a mix of modern apartments like across the street here. Здравствуйте. Feels like our driver has just dropped us off in the middle of nowhere in Ukraine. But there is a sign right here. This is what we've come for. So actually the real reason that we came all the way from Kiev to Rivna and now the town of Cleveland is about, I believe how you pronounce it. It's because we wanted to visit uh, a very photo, photo ops spot. It is called the Tunnel of Love. And it may be the best kept secret of Ukraine, or it might be the most touristy uh, area of Ukraine. Who knows, we're about to find out. But uh, it's a very beautiful spot for photos apparently, and we're about to find out if it really is true. But I mean, as you guys can see, it's just nothing here, but locals living. There's the babushka right there. And yeah, I think we're going the right way. I think so, I don't know. Well, I think we're in the right place since we did see a train. Um, and I do see some restaurants and cafes up ahead in front of me, meaning that it is a, it's a tourist place basically. So it's a good sign that we're seeing tourists. Pretty large parking area here as well. Um, so if you guys want to just bring your car down here and park it here, you don't have to walk like we did. Let me see your reaction. This is cool. What do you think? It's amazing. Yeah. But it's dark. So immediately as soon as you walk into this tunnel, it's just train tracks and woods on either side. There are uh, vendors, some locals here set up with tables, selling souvenirs, magnets, stuff like that. So it's definitely become more of a popular tourist destination, but as, I, as far as I can see, there's not very many people here. From the very limited research I did here, um, I think it's like between two to six kilometers long. I'll put the actual like correct <laughs> number down below. But uh, apparently the deeper you go, the thicker it gets. Um, from photos, it looks very thick. In reality, it's the trees are very thin, but it looks so thick as, as you look down the tunnel. It's so beautiful. And this was all created because of uh, the train that's passing through here. So over the years, um, this train has passed through every single day and created this somewhat of a tunnel from all the trees around it. And it's created this like natural arch, which has given it the name Tunnel of Love. So guys, before we leave here, it's completely free. One thing I forgot to mention, it's free here. Um, so you can just practically walk right in here. Another thing, there are some other people here walking through now. It's getting a little busier. We've arrived literally at like 2 p.m., just midday. And um, even though that there are other people here, you can still basically cut people out of the shots because you're standing right in the middle of the tunnel. And so everybody behind you is gonna be pretty much blocked out of the shot if you're taking the photo right down the center. It's a great place for photos. I would highly recommend coming here. It's only about a 40 minute taxi ride from here or actually 30 minute taxi ride. You can uh, hear the whistle of the train in the background or maybe you can't but I can. And uh, this railway is actually still operational. Uh, there are trains that there are trains that still come through here. However, you gotta be here at the right time and day. Uh, I believe they come here daily at certain times, once or twice a day. Aww. So here's a map of where we are. This is Rivna. This is where we took the train in today. 
and I don't even know where we are. Crap. Cleve Clevon. I think it's this one. Right? So behind me is the entrance of the Tunnel of Love and there's actually a few cafes and restaurants here and one hotel that uh, is right at the entrance. So if you want to stop here and eat uh, when you're leaving the Tunnel of Love, you can do that as well. How was your first Martoshka ride? It's nice. It's um, better than what I expected. So we rode our first Martoshka from, uh, I forgot where it was, to Rivna here downtown to the uh, Vokzal, which is the uh, train station here. So now we can just pick up a taxi anywhere around here to our Airbnb. But overall, great day exploring the Tunnel of Love. Well guys, we are back in downtown Rivna. I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with this town and downtown as well. Uh, it's really easy to get around town here with the taxi situations, uh, at least for me because I do speak Russian. Um, and all the taxi drivers have been really nice, really friendly. Um, <laughs> then again, there's really not much to do in this town. Um, so. I'm kind of thankful that we did only come for a day. So we went out to check out the Tunnel of Love. Incredibly amazing spot. I'm not even sure what uh, what kind of jobs people have here. Um, but yeah, it's mainly only locals here. Not that many tourists. One day has been just enough here in Rivna. So we're going to go back home to our apartment. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. Comment down below any questions you guys might have about Rivna or traveling here at least. And if you made it to the very end of this video, please subscribe. It really helps the channel, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video in, hopefully, Kiev. Peace. <laughs> Нехай звінуть горі женьки на вічні віки, нехай звінуть горі женьки на вічні віки.